This is the Alice robot. On July 11, 2013, at the company's headquarters in Massachusetts, Boston Dynamics unveiled Atlas, a robot designed to participate in DARPA's Robot Challenge. The ultimate goal is to create robots that can respond to dangerous emergencies, such as a nuclear meltdown. 1.9 meters tall and weighing 150 kilograms, Atlas can walk, grasp things with its hands, and study the environment with sensors in its head. It combines a spinning planar laser rangefinder along with a high-resolution, high-frame rate stereoscopic camera system. And uh, it generates a gigabit per second of data, uh, which is very, very high data rate, and about 20 million points per second from the stereo data. Uh, teams are going to be using that to map their environment, to sense what the arms are doing, to grasp things, uh, to plan where their, the feet of the robot are going to be placed on the ground, and also with the laser to do long-range mapping, uh, path planning through obstacles, and uh, you know, overall situational awareness. The seven teams who will be using Atlas as a testbed for their robotics control software were on hand at the public unveiling. We did a little bit of drama when uh, the teams first came in. The robot was inside the conference room, uh, which is where I was as well. And after breakfast, we opened the doors and the teams came in there and their eyes got really big. <laughs> as well as meeting Atlas for the first time, teams were learning about their new robot partner from Boston Dynamics engineers. These are the highest performance robots that we could find for these teams to use. So we're giving them every possible chance to succeed. I'm convinced that we're going to see the robots doing pretty well on at least some of the challenge tasks that we're giving them, like climbing a ladder, getting into and driving a vehicle, uh, turning a valve, putting on a fire hose. All of the people here have already been fairly successful at those uh, tasks in simulation with fairly realistic models of the environment and the robot. So we've been working with a simulator created by uh, OSRF, the Open Source Robotics Foundation. We've found that it's not necessarily going to be a perfect match between what worked in the simulator and what will work on the real robot. Mm. A lot of the challenges over the next few months will be to port what we've done already to the physical robot. And that's going to be uh, not only challenging, but very exciting and rewarding to be able to see tangible results from the work that we've been putting in over the last months. The teams will be putting the atlases through their paces at a series of public trials in December. So the teams will quickly have to make sure that their software transitions from simulation to reality. We've been uh, working with the virtual robot for a while now, and uh, the chance to get a look at the real hardware. Um, it's just been an amazing experience and opportunity. Uh, do you think you'll be ready for December? I know we'll be ready for December. For IEEE Spectrum, I'm Stephen Cass.